Hi, I'm Katie. In this week's industry news update, we're talking about an underwater drone aimed to help make fishing more thrilling and the world's most heat resistant material. Well, some may call it cheating, while others may say it's genius or even a fisherman's new best friend. It's called Power Ray, an underwater drone aimed to help make fishing more thrilling and easier. Power Vision has developed the underwater fishing drone packed with fishing hunting features they claim could change the fishing world. Power Ray is capable of scoring depths of up to 30 meters in search of the thinned creatures and equipped with a PowerWay sonar, a remote bait drop, and blue-hued LEDs to attract fish to its location and its hook, all while transmitting a live HD video feed to a smartphone app that can be used for both Android and iOS devices. The drone can be controlled right from the app with temperature, fish distribution, and landscape data with a Wi-Fi connection. Now for those who may be less than enthused with this fishing technology advancement, PowerVision has also created a pair of virtual reality goggles for live virtual reality fish seeking that can be used to control the drone with just head movements. PowerRay hopes to provide a more efficient, thrilling way to fish for fishermen around the world. Now the price for the PowerRay has yet to be announced, but global orders are scheduled to start next month. The drone was on display at the 2017 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. And a new record has been set for the world's most heat-resistant material. Researchers at Imperial College in London have discovered that tantium carbide and hafnium carbide materials can withstand scorching temperatures of nearly 4,000 degrees Celsius. Now, these new findings would allow both to be used in even more extreme environments. Both TAC and HFC are refractory ceramics, meaning they are extraordinarily resistant to heat, which could allow them to be used in thermal protection systems on high-speed vehicles and fuel cladding in the superheated environments of nuclear reactors. Now, in testing, laser heating techniques were used to find that point at which the materials melted at, which was just less than 4,000 degrees Celsius. They say that these new findings could pave the way for the next generation of hypersonic vehicles, meaning spacecraft could become faster than ever. Researchers from Imperial say their tests demonstrate that the materials show promise in the engineering of space vehicles of the future. Being able to withstand these types of extreme temperatures means that missions involving hypersonic spacecraft may one day be manned missions. For example, a flight from London to Sydney may take about 50 minutes at Mach 5, which could open a new world of commercial opportunities for countries around the world. That's it for this week's industry update. Stay tuned for more news in electronics, automation, and robotics.